Hello and welcome back to Park Fermi Parley with Kieran Downey. It's race week, it is Spanish Grand Prix week, it is the start of a triple header. We have three weekends of racing ahead of us and my god, like this is just, it gets the blood pumping, gets it going. I honestly, I can't wait for these next three weeks. I've also realised that next week I'm actually down at Red Bull. Yeah, I bought my dad as a Christmas present, a Red Bull factory tour. So we'll be doing that next Friday um, and I will bring you guys along as best I can. I have actually done it before and I know that for quite a lot of it you can't do any filming or any kind of recording or anything. So We'll see what we can do. That is next week. We still have a full weekend of racing ahead of us. And my God, do we have a big weekend of racing. Not only do we have F1 racing this weekend, but we also have the feeder series, the support series racing as well. We have F2, F3 and F1 Academy all racing this weekend. For each day is just jam packed with cars on track and that just excites me so much. It honestly does, it excites me so much. I cannot wait. But before all the action of the cars on track, let's make a few predictions, shall we, for the Spanish Grand Prix. I'm not going into this weekend feeling cocky or confident about my belief in Ferrari, purely because it was a complete car crash last time round in Canada, but I'm hoping they're going to bring it back this week. I'm really hoping, but I'm not going to put all my eggs in Ferrari's basket this week. All right, now kicking things off with pole position, Max Verstappen. I know I put him for pole in Canada, which he didn't get, but he could have. It was just bad luck that he drew the exact same time as Drew is like he's, you know, he's like playing cards. It was just unfortunate for him that he put in the exact same lap time as George Russell, but was the second one to do it, so he started second. I reckon he's going to be an absolute beast this weekend. An absolute beast. That Red Bull's not as powerful as what we thought, I think. I think it's not as powerful as its predecessor, but we've seen that that man can do incredible things with that car. That man can drive that car. Watching him is an absolute masterclass in F1 driving. I think he'll be back on top this week, just constantly. Just pole position, everything. I just think, and I think he'll make it look easy. I think this is what we've not seen from Max in a while, is him being able to win and it be comfortable and it looks really easy. Like he had to fight for that win in Canada and I think it will just come a little bit easier to him this time. So yeah, pole position, Max Verstappen. All right, P3 for the race, George Russell. I think George and Mercedes as a whole is going to have a very good weekend this uh, coming up in Spain. George should have won Canada. He should have won, there's no denying it, but... He made some mistakes. I think he could be in contention for maybe even like a P2 this week, but it's just a thing that I you see with George quite a lot now that whenever there's the pressure's on, he begins to make a few mistakes. And I think that might be the case this week. I do think he'll have a good weekend. I think he'll qualify very strong. I think he'll race very strong. And I think George will have a good weekend. I think he'll do P3, simple. All right, P2. Oscar Piastri. I think it's time we get him back up on the podium. I know it was only Monaco, like Monaco was the last time he was up there, but I think we'll see Oscar on a podium. I think he's going to have a very strong weekend. I think he will qualify second. I think we'll get a little bit of a battle for P1, but Max will just take that comfortably. So yeah, I think Oscar will, will have a good weekend, a solid podium position get some good points in the bag. I think McLaren as a whole will have a very good weekend. But yeah, I think we'll we'll see a good, good result from Oscar Piastri. All right, now P1, Max Verstappen. I don't think he'll face as many of the problems he's been facing recently. I think we'll begin to see that little bit of that dominant side to Max coming back. I don't think it'll be miles and miles and miles ahead, but I do think he'll dominate this weekend. And it seems to be the consensus, I think, for a lot of people that Max will be back on form this week. That car will be back on form and he will dominate. It's a circuit that he will enjoy. It's an old school racing circuit. We know that that's what Max loves. I think the car and everything will just feel a lot more comfortable for it. I think he will be a lot more comfortable this week and I think he'll just sail through. Absolutely sail. 
Now, some other predictions that I think will happen this weekend. Okay, I think that this weekend, Esteban Ocon will outperform Pierre Gasly. And I think there'll be a little bit of tension. He's not a happy man right now. He is annoyed about team orders in Canada. He's annoyed by the team. I think he's just kind of over the whole situation. Do I think that he will put his all into it and just wipe the floor with Gasly? I kind of do, yeah. I don't think it's going to be amazing, to be honest with you, but I do think it'll be better than Gasly. I think we're also going to see another very good weekend from Danny Rick. I think that fire that was in him in Canada will still be there. I do think, and I'll probably regret saying this, but I do think he'll outperform Yuki Tsunoda. I think Ferrari will be better, but I don't think we'll be back on form with what we expect from Ferrari for this year. I think they'll be in the points, but I just don't think they'll have, I don't think they'll be in contention for a podium. I'm reckoning P5, P6 kind of vibes. Speaking of Ferrari, I think that this is going to be the weekend, much as everyone else does, that we get the news on Carlos Sainz, where he's signing for 2025, what, where he's going. I think that that's what I think we'll get it this weekend. Part of me thinks we'll get it on Wednesday. It's currently Monday at time of recording. I think we'll get it Wednesday. And my God, do we need it. Like, I just need names now. I just need names on pieces of paper, contracts signed, for the love of God. So I asked everyone on threads what they thought. I, you know, are we going to get confirmation of Carlos's 2025 seat? And if so, where do you think he's going? And I put three options. I put Williams, Cyber Audi, or another team. 65% of the people that voted think he's going to Williams. And, like, I do think it's... It seems all but confirmed. James Vowles is flirting, openly flirting with Carlos Sainz in front of Logie Bear. Like, can we stop batting our eyelashes, please, and just get confirmation of is Carlos going there or is he not? I mean, I do think he's signing on at Williams. I know I said that he was going to go to Mercedes, and I honestly think I must have been drunk when I made those 2025 predictions for the driver grid because, oh, Jesus. But yeah, no, I think Williams, I think we'll get the announcement this week. And, oh, God, goodbye, Logie Bear. Do you know, as, as, as I said before, I did feel sorry for him, but all that has just gone out the window. Like, I'm just over it now. I'm over people performing poorly. That's why I'm over, like, the whole Zhou Guan Yu thing. Ruby Wants a Pony said, I have a feeling I'll end up crying from anticipatory exhaustion, given the triple header and the drama re silly season at the moment. You, me too, hun. I don't know who will lend, but I know McLaren and Ferrari are strong, so it should be fun to watch. I agree with you. Not really a prediction, but I, I agree. F1 Wonder Girl just said Alonso. Just Alonso. That's it. Just Alonso. Um... So I replied asking, like, you know, for the win, for whatever, and they were like, for the win, bold prediction. And I like a bold prediction. Dante Be Damned said, Piastri podium on a McLaren. And I'm right there with you, Dante. Uh, F1 Fantasy HQ said, hurts to say, but Max wins by a lot. Back-to-back -back wins here at six straight podiums. He feasts at this circuit. I agree. I do think Max will be amazing here. I think we're going to go back to a Max Verstappen masterclass. So I then went back and said, you know, what do you think about Checo? What's your thoughts and feelings on Checo? And they said, hard to tell with the pen. Oh my God, Checo's got a penalty. I forgot all about that. So Checo spun out and crashed in Canada, damaged his back wind, drove back to the pits, was leaving debris everywhere. Then it came out that Red Bull had basically told him to bring the car in drive the car to the pits because they didn't want to cause a safety car. Unfortunately, Carlos Sainz had other plans and spun off and hit Alex Album, so we got a safety car anyway. So then they got in trouble because, you know, that shouldn't have happened. He had no right driving that car back to the pits. So he was handed, I think, a three-place grid penalty for this week. It's obviously not great for Red Bull. They got fined €250,000. And on top of the repairs that they would have to have made to Checo's car for the crash in Monaco, then the crash in Canada, that's a big chunk of money out the cost cap and their like development and everything for their cars. So can't imagine they're going to be too happy. And Christian Horner didn't seem too happy when he was talking about Checo after the race in Canada. 
it's all going to get on top of him. I think his nerves are going to be at an all-time high. He's got getting slagged off again, left, right and centre, because everyone's saying he's a terrible driver, doesn't deserve to be at Red Bull. He's got Christian Horner telling the media, you know, he needs to pull it together. He's probably had a bollock him back in Milton Keynes. However, they continue to say, I expect better, probably qualifying at the bottom of the top 10. He's not bad in every quality, but yeesh, the bar is low these days. And then finally, Sambal Tayaba said, Carlos will win. But we will check back in after the race and go through all our predictions. Now, another big prediction I've been seeing all over, all over the socials is in relation to Kimi Antonelli again. So we all know back in, I think it was around Miami, that the FIA received a dispensation request for a super license for Kimi Antonelli. That was actually denied because Kimi was not yet 18. Fast forward to last week. And the FIA changed the rules and regulations that would allow a 17-year-old a super license if they have done enough to gain it. And, you know, it means that they could then race in F1. Uh, they could also do three practice sessions. Apparently, from what I've seen, the FIA has received another dispensation request for Kimi Antonelli. Now, I wonder whether it's they want to run him in free practice sessions. Everybody seems to think that it's a replacement for Logan Sargent. Everybody is talking that Logan's out now. I think it's maybe a bit too late to do it. I, again, as I said, I can't see James Viles doing that. If he did want to do it, he's only got a few months until Kimmy's 18 anyway. So does it make sense to do it early? I don't know, I just don't see it happening. I think they're going to do it so they can run him in free practice sessions and get him into a feeling of an F1 car driving it round certain circuits because all arrows are pointing that he will be joining Mercedes next year. We've had a lot of talk from Toto about how Kimi Antonelli is the future of Mercedes and a little bit of a slap in the face to George Russell, is it not? And when he joined the team... A few years ago, it seemed that, you know, that was going to be, he was the future of Mercedes after Lewis retired or whatever. And now they're openly saying, what is with these team principals and just openly flirting with drivers in front of the drivers they've already got? James Vowell's flirting with Carlos Sainz. Total Wolf flirting it up with Kimi Antonelli, saying he's the future of the company and stuff. My God, these men. Don't think we'll see Kimi Antonelli replacing Logan Sargent this year. I think we will see him in some free practice sessions. Okay, so that is all from us just now. We are going to be going. If we get any Carlos Sainz news, I will be back in your eye holes, in your ear holes for a debrief on that because that's big news and if there's nothing in between now and the weekend I will see you on Saturday for a little practice roundup but yep that is all from us enjoy the rest of your day I will see you on Saturday unless any important news happens enjoy the rest of your day love you bye